In 2006, Blake Makowski saw extreme poverty while traveling through Argentina. He found that children kept out of school because they could not afford shoes. But he also got a look at the footwear used by the farmers. The soles are made of rope, and that inspired him to go home and create what we now know are Tom's Shoes. Seven years later, his company has given away 10 million pairs of shoes to those in need. And now Tom's is selling eyewear and raising money to help restore sight. Blake Good morning. Thank you for having me. So, such a pleasure uh, to meet you in person and what you've done with your company. And certainly, my kids have lots of Tom shoes as well the glitter pink ones. Great. And, yeah, all those ones. <laughs> um, if you're Blake, who's Tom then? Yeah, that's a really good question. So, when I started the company, the idea was if we sell a pair of shoes today, we will give away a pair tomorrow. And we were going to call them tomorrow shoes, but I couldn't get tomorrow's <laughs> to fit on the tag. Yeah. So, I shortened it to Tom's and People have called me Tom ever since. What about those children now that you saw in Argentina who couldn't go to school because they didn't have shoes? What, what's so great is our whole model is based on sustainable giving and going back every three to four months to replenish the shoes that they need. So some of those kids I know now and have seen them grow up over the last seven years and uh, seen them stay in school and their self-esteem built. And it's really just been a, an amazing experience to see how the organization has grown. And, and who determines who gets the, uh, the donations and how do you make that determination? You know, that's really key. Uh, we use uh, partners all over the world. We give in about 56 different countries. We mainly focus on two needs, uh, shoes for school, because in many countries in the world, if children don't have the proper footwear, they're not allowed to go to school. Mm -hmm. So we really try to focus on partners that are about empowering education. And the second thing is, is foot diseases. There's a uh, horrible, you know, hookworm in Central America, mm -hmm. protoconiosis in Ethiopia and the Congo. And so we use our shoes to either protect children's feet from a disease or to enable them to go to school because that's really, in, you know, in poverty alleviation, you know, it's really education and jobs, and we really try to focus on that. But it's your one-for-one one one model that is so impressive to a lot of people. What makes it so different, and how you even, even notice that these kids had a problem? Because well, people could go and not notice, Blake. Yeah, I think the thing is, is that, you know, a lot of people say one-for-one one is like this huge idea now. But back then, you know, I just wasn't very good at math, and I thought this is the easiest way to keep track of it. I mean, really, I was like, we're really? going to sell a pair of shoes, and we're going to give a pair of shoes. How can we mess that up, you know? It's really that easy. And so, and I think what the reason why it's had the kind of success and it's, it's struck a chord is a lot of companies give a percentage to charity or this or that, and that's fantastic. But with one for one, it was really easy. Like they knew that when they bought a pair of shoes, there was someone who was getting a pair. And I think especially kids now, they're such a big part of our customers. I love it when I meet like a nine or 10 year old on the airplane yeah. and I ask her or him, you know, what do you like your shoes? And she says like the best part is there's another girl that got a pair. And they know it. And they know it. Yes. And so we're teaching kids at such a young age about giving back. And why now eyewear? So as we looked at all the different needs in the world, you know, whether it's water, or food, shelter, all these things, one of the things that I was most impressed with were the, the nonprofits that were doing eye care, whether that is in the United States. I mean, I, we've done, you know, um, screenings and uh, eyewear distribution here just, in, just outside of New York to, you know, Nepal or India. But giving a child a pair of prescription glasses mm -hmm. will change their life. And then on the other side of the spectrum, we do a lot of cataract surgeries for elderly people who have lost their sight and they lose their jobs, they can't care for their family. So by pair, selling a simple pair of sunglasses, we can give someone their sight back. And to me, that's been like the most exciting thing that I've gotten to do and be part of the last seven years. Blake, thank you for joining us. You, you proved that doing good can be good for business. Well, yeah, I'm really right. glad to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you Blake.